this program we shall be discussing about how to use the if else if and else statement in order to demonstrate this concept i am going to find out whether a given input number is positive negative or zero we have already done an algorithm on this in high level i'll discuss it how it works i am going to read a number from the user once i read the number i am going to say if number is greater than zero i am going to say positive if a number is not positive, it can either be 0 or it has to be negative. So next step what I am going to say is else if number less than 0, then I am going to say number is negative. Else automatically since the number is neither positive nor negative, I am going to print the answer as number is 0. So let's try to go ahead and type the code. Oops, sorry, it's gone here. So what I am going to do here is I am going to type the code here. So I am going to say int number is equal to 0 then I'm going to ask the user enter a number all right so the user is going to enter a number and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this number using a scanf all right don't give spaces in scanf just have it tightly as it is so I'm going to say address of number so once the user enters a number, I am left with C statements to find out whether a number is positive, negative or zero. So the first statement I'm going to say is if number greater than zero, all right? If number is greater than zero, it's quite easy. Then I'm going to straight away say printf percentage D is positive, P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E and slash N, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say number. Then the other possibility is the number can be negative. So if I'm going to ask the question is num less than zero. If number is less than zero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say percentage D number is negative. So this is the way you got to you smartly use cut and paste so they don't have to type everything you this thing you have to write. So just do any G A T I V E number is negative. All right. Now, lastly, what is the choice? Else number has to be zero. So I'm going to just say else and I'm going to say put this here and I'm going to say instead of number is positive or negative, I'm going to say number is zero. All right. So here if you see what I have done is I have utilized if else if and else. So based on the input number, I'm going to tell whether the number is positive, negative or zero. So it's a good idea to test this for all the three conditions. So let's first try to compile it and see if there are any errors. Fortunately, there are no compilation errors, so we are good to go. So what I will do is first let me enter zero itself. So if I enter zero, it should say zero is zero. Okay. All right. Or all right, this is fine. Then what I can do is I can run it again. This time, let me enter a number which is say positive. Okay. The number can be just say two. So it says two is positive, okay? Then let me run again. Let me try to enter a negative number and see what happens. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna enter a number say minus four, all right? So minus four is negative, okay? So this is a simple program using if, else if and else to find out whether a number is positive, negative or zero. Zero is zero is fine. Now I'll show you some of the problems which can happen, which unfortunately I couldn't show you in the previous video because the net connection got disconnected or the server had some problems. Let's see what happens if I put a semicolon here, okay? Or before that, let me take out this particular bracket. So if I take out this particular bracket, you will get an error during compilation itself. So just be aware of mistakes like this you end up doing. So here it's saying on line 12, it is expecting a bracket. So now if I put this bracket, this error will certainly go off, all right? So you should be sure you put this bracket. The if condition always requires a bracket. This is the first part of the problem. Next part is accidentally a lot of you end up doing is you end up putting a semicolon here. If you end up putting a semicolon here, then what is going to happen is this semicolon gets associated when the number is greater than zero. So this fellow is hanging without any if condition. Now when you try to compile it, see what will happen, all right? So you're getting an error. What it's trying to say is this else if or else exist without any if, okay? So just be careful if you put this semicolon here, you will get this particular message, 
एल्स और एल्स इफ एग्जिस्ट विदाउट द प्रीवियस इफ सो नाउ इफ यू टेक दिस आउट यू शुड बी फाइन सो डोंट गिव एनी सेमी कॉलम्स हियर और हियर यू गोन हैव प्रॉब्लम्स ओके ना जस्ट सी वट हैपन्स यू ट्राई टू डू दिस ओके यू गोन टू गेट दीज पर्टिकुलर एरस सो जस्ट अवॉइड पुटिंग सेमी कॉलन आफ्टर अ इफ और अ एल्स इफ और अ एल्स अनलेस देर इज अ नीड फॉर इट विच यू विल डिस्कस इन प्रोग्राम्स लेटर ऑन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड और अंडरस्टूड द यूज ऑफ if else if else using a simple program to find out whether a number is positive negative or zero